Welcome back to today's video where I want to show you how to install and use the AutoGPT variant which is based on GPT-4 and uses the API of OpenAI. And the nice thing about this uh, API and uh, GPT version is that it can access the web and achieves your goal by doing all tasks that are necessary and you don't have to do anything. So it will do it all by itself. And this is definitely a step in the direction of AGI, which we can see with this version of AutoGPT. Keep in mind that you have to pay per 1000 tokens, I think so, 0 0.007 dollars uh, for the API from ChatGPT, uh, from OpenAI. So now let's go on. The, fir the first thing you will have to do is to install Git for Windows so you can use GitHub a little bit uh, better with your PC. Download this, download this one and execute it, save it on your PC. The next thing you want to do, the second step, is to install Python for your PC. Now I choose Windows, you can do uh, the other platforms which you have. Then you will look for the latest stable release, which will be 3.10.11 from April 2023. Uh, I made the impression that this version doesn't uh, work so fine at the moment, for example with Stable Diffusion. And if you want to use Stable Diffusion also, you can use the Python 3.11.3 from April the and I will go and use this version and I'm downloading it for with the Windows installer 64-bit. Use your system. Here we are. Click add Python exit to path. This is important. And then click on install now. Now it's installing Python and then your first uh, easy two steps are done. So close this. The next thing we want to do is to install AutoGPT on your PC. For this, go to this GitHub, significant gravitas slash auto dash GPT. This is from Torrentolino, which was named Torrentolino, but now it's named uh, significant dash gravitas. I will pack all of the links down below in the description so you don't have to type in them yourself. So if you want, you can read this mm, short description of auto GPT and watch also the demo video. But I want to show you how to install it. So as you can see, the requirements are Python and also the open API key. You can also use VS Code and Dev Container or Docker to choose an environment for your AutoGPT. We choose Python or I have chosen Python for myself. So the first thing I want to do is now make sure that you have all requirements and we have them. The next thing is we will make a folder on the path where we want to install the version for us. I want to make a folder definitely uh, on my desktop here. I will name it auto GPT, click on it. And then I'm going in this field, type in CMD, enter, and I'm in my CMD exe terminal. Now I'm cloning this um, second response and paste it into here and click enter. Now it's cloning. The folder for us, it's done. Now we can look into this AutoGPT and we have all the files we need here inside. So the next thing, so navigate to the directory. We already done this, then install the required dependencies. You copy this one, go again into your uh, Explorer, where you click into your new created folder. And then again, CMD. Again, we are here, paste the value inside here and click enter. Now it's installing all what we need to for AutoGPT. It does it all in your, uh, on its own, so it's pretty easy uh, to understand for everyone. And there are we. It's already finished. So let's have a look at the next step. It is the, to configure AutoGPT. So let's locate the file point env point template in the main folder. And then we should remove the template and only make an env file out of it. We will do this. So, but before we do this, we will need our OpenAI API key. For this, keep in mind that you need a, to set up a paid account for the OpenAI um, platform. And you can do this by going here with this link easily, open the tab. So the first thing we will want to notice is if you have a paid account, you can uh, create one here on the billing overview and for example, add your credit card. Next thing is you head over to user API keys and create a new secret key. I will name mine, I will name mine uh, auto GPT 
mm, key. Notice that you only will see this whole key once, so be sure to copy it somewhere else on your PC so that you don't uh, get it lost. So now we copy it, done. Next thing is head to your folder and see the .env.template file, click on it and go to OpenAI, API key, uh, is your OpenAI key and paste your key inside of this. Then save it up and close the file. Next thing you will want to do is to rename this and delete the dot template and make a .env file. Yes, we are aware of it. And now also the document file type changes. Next thing is we are finished. This was it. This was the short installation of OdaGPT on your PC. You, it's not much, so I think everyone can do it. As you have seen it with the env file here, we still have uh, other things we can add. For example, you can add the pinecone uh, key or you can weight a uh, key. You can also add the uh, 11 labs key if you have one and then AutoGPT will be able to speak to you and read out uh, the things it writes uh, out loud to you. So definitely crazy to see this, what they built into this uh, whole AutoGPT version here. So what you will want to do now and next is to open AutoGPT. For this again, we can go to the command field CMD and type in uh, python dash n AutoGPT. And with this command, it will open Python and also our recently cloned AutoGPT file. So enter and now let it think a while. And there we are again with AutoGPT and it's now able to run for you and it's finally set it up. So name your AI, for example, Coder AI. Coder AI, hi, I'm, I'm at your service. Uh, for example, an AI designed to autonomously develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth uh, is, for example, now the description for uh, the entrepreneur GPT. So, Code AI is a coding bot which helps to code a Python script. Now we can enter up to five goals for our own AI for us, where it uh, find. Uh, small niche where you can code some uh, code a small app goal number two code the app and solve and uh, goal number three is to test the app and goal number four will be to solve upcoming uh, problems problems well number five we will no uh, will be not there so as you can see memory type is now local cache if you want don't want to have uh, such high local cache uh, out paste you need to go to you need to go to pincone where your memory of the AI is located not on your own device but on their server so because when you let the AutoGPT run for a long time. It can get up to 100 gigs or so on data, which it searched. So it's definitely um, a good point to get uh, a pin cone uh, key and register yourself. It's free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. I will link it down below so you can get your own key. But there is a waitlist. So yes, I'm not able to show this to you now because I'm still on the waitlist. So as you can see it now, we are uh, on a mode where we have to input yes or no for everything that the uh, auto GPT wants to do and now it wants to browse the web to find a small niche for my app I will say yes and it can do this and as you can see the command is authorized by user now it's downloading uh, for example something from the web and it's going through all of this as you can see in this website it couldn't find something talks is search for small app ideas on Google Next action is to go to Google and choose small enough uh, for the code the app. So let it do this again. So it will browse the website of Mindster to get more information about the taxi dispatch app idea. So because I don't want to input every time uh, a why when it should do something, I will close this. So what I want to do now uh, is to get into the continuous mode where I don't have to pay uh, every time y or n uh, if it should do something or not so python dash m 
order GPT dash dash continuous mode and you click enter on this one and now again we are in the continuous mode which is enabled and here comes the warning the continuous mode is not recommended it's potentially gently dangerous and may cause your ai to run forever or carry out actions you would not usually authorize use it at your own risk so be in mind that uh, this can happen you can uh, every time close the command window with control c so keep this in mind if you can close this thing every time with control c so I want to continue, yes, with my code AI, and now it will do and run automatically for me. I don't have to do anything. So as you can see, it now begins to again browse the internet and search for a nice short uh, niche where it can begin to code us an app. And it will do everything it can to solve this problem and bring out a nice and clean um, app. So what we can see now is uh, the auto GPT will start now the GPT agent to help uh, with coding the app. So it commands uh, the agent and goes to GPT-4 now and begins to ask it some questions about what they can do. And as it seems it makes an app for uh, buying fast food or so because it gets burger, uh, fries and drinks in it so now it think uh, it will test the app to ensure it works as expected this is goal number three already the reasoning is now testing the app and going through it if everything works and there are no bugs or errors so as you can see it now it runs tremendous long texts and tries to get uh, a test of this app and try to work it out and I'm thinking I will stop this now here because I will want to show you uh, how to learn coding with AutoGPT uh, and get your coding examples, for example, of coding a little game or so, in my next video. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the like button and also the little bell so that you don't miss this video. Uh, I want to show you use AutoGPT to get your own small game or your own small app. For example, I will show you, I think, uh, one game and one app and how this works with one uh, or two maybe so, uh, maybe uh, i will use two uh, agents and not only one so that they can both uh, interact together and code an app so now you can control c and break this app and now i'm out of this as you can see i'm aborted and as you can see this works every time so be sure to keep this in your mind if you are on continuous mode and want to stop go to aborted control c and then you're out of this whole thing so guys, thanks for listening and have a nice day and goodbye.